Shout out to flipping um what's his face? Bert Kreischer. This is pretty cool, I think. Um it's as much as he can be annoying, I think it's also important if people do have some wins that you kind of, you know, celebrate them and give them a little double tap, give them a little like, give them some fucking, you know, high five hands, some prayer hands, some little love hearts. You know what I mean? It's pretty important to do so. And maybe this award doesn't mean anything really in the grand scheme of things, but it's still good to see. I'm not going to lie. It's still good to see. So big up Bert Kreischer for being able to win this um, fellow award, which I just seen on his Instagram. Now I'm going to get up on my screen. As you can see there, let me just take off the chat for one second. You can see that Bert Kreischer has won himself an award. The caption says, thank you, Montreal. This was an honor. And just for laughs, he won Comedian of the Year. I'm not too sure what the criteria is and how it's voted and whatnot, but considering how Bert has been all over the place these past, I don't know, it feels like 18 months, but Bert has been on a tear. Put aside what you think of him as a person. Put aside if you don't like his comedy. But just think, from the time COVID happened, the lockdown and stuff, he's been doing those um those drive through comedy shows. He's been going on tour. He put together this um this thing now at the moment that he's doing. What's it fucking called? Oh, I forgot the name of it. But that roaming tour with loads of comedians, he's doing that. So he's been absolutely kidding the game. He put a special out. He's got a million podcasts, a new studio. So it's no surprise that he got rewarded. He got rewarded with this. And I think it's funny because a lot of comedians always talk about Just For Laughs and how important it was for them to get recognised on that platform. And obviously later on down the line when you all got successful podcasts, the need to be on Just For Laughs wasn't as much as it was before. So it must be a pretty cool full circle moment to, you know, maybe you got overlooked from Just For Laughs and now suddenly you're now being awarded by that platform because of the work that you've done um, in a way to try and make up for the fact that you won't get recognised by that platform. So it must be really nice for him to kind of get that feeling here's him hanging out at the red carpet so so i'd guess for the event there in montreal hugging loads of different people here having a good time there's bert with um who's this person um someone called leanne morgan and felipe esparza who i know from jerry diaz podcast has got his own podcast as a comedian as well there's bert and his lovely and ever so patient wife leanne big up here big up her um, there's him getting an award from Neil brennan handed over to him on the stage of course bert is weeping like an absolute baby um, because, you know, like your lump it, one of the things I do like about Bert, he is incredibly self-aware. For all the things that we say about Brendan, or for all the things that I say about Brendan on this pod, one of the things that's really, you know, disappointing as a former fan of T-Fat K is the fact that Brendan doesn't seem to have a handle or an ability to understand why people don't like him, especially now and the version of Brendan he's kind of turned into. In the beginning, everything was kind of cool, but then over time when he became more famous and he got more success and, you know, whatever it may be, maybe his network expanded, he just started to walk around like a shit that didn't stink and his attitude changed for the worse. And, by, you know, by and large, most fans that were down for him kind of turned their back on it and weren't really too good on it. So the one thing I like about Bert, at least with Bert, he's incredibly self-aware. He knows most likely he is a functioning alcoholic. He knows he can be annoying and intense. He knows he's very self-absorbed and you know egotist not even egotistical um self-absorbed and a bit um narcissistic in his own way because i think most comedians have that kind of trait in them but he is kind of you know jovial with it he is kind of he's a bit of a laugh i'm sure if you did bump into him in a bar somewhere you'd have a bestest of time if you actually met him in person i think he's probably one of the rare comedians who i think out of all the ones who exist in that bapa verse in the jre extended universe i think if you met bert in person you'd be really impressed like he'd actually win you over more so than how he comes across over the internet in my humble opinion i think the others even guys like tom segura who i love i think tom segura is like a 50 50 flip of a coin you meet him one day you think he's the best you meet him another day you might think he's a bit of a cunt so but with Bert I think if you did meet him in real life he'd be super safe so congrats to Bert there crying like a baby really proud of himself for getting that award and I have to be honest again take away what you think of his comedy take away what you think of him as a person in terms of pure output I think Bert does probably deserve this in terms of pure hustle in terms of putting himself out there in front of camera because I personally don't think it's easy to do what he does I know some people do but I think consistently putting you know recording these little skits these little adverts in front of your family annoying your friends because you want to get a certain shot doing all these drone things it's fucking exhausting anybody that's got friends 
that they know in their social group where every time you go out they have to take a picture of their dinner um before you guys eat it take a picture of the drinks they always want a picture of them eating or drinking something that person is exhausting so being that person who's on on their phone who's constantly flipping document in every part of their lives is not hot it's not easy so the fact that he does it in an industry like stand-up comedy where every comedian for the most part from what i've been able to see from the outside looking in they're a bit catty they're super backstabby and shit you know they're just some of the worst people ever knowing full well what they say about him behind his back about taking his t-shirt off and then being super annoying with the phones it deserves a lot of credit that he does that in the first place so i think through pure will through pure effort and for the desire to be famous which you can't really this you know begrudge him for i think everybody's allowed to have their goals and things in life and if he wants to be famous by all means necessary by all means necessary then let him do it and i think he's done it and achieved it and i think this year he probably does get deserve to be you know voted for being comedian of the year here's him again with a few bunch of comics here who's there featured we've got someone called julie Myro. who's this is that the asian lady who talks about i'm not too sure um comedy gives back again um and then another picture here with some more people um, someone called Bruce Hill from Just for Last, I'm assuming. Maybe Bert's mum. That looks like Bert's mum, right? That they, they kind of look similar, right? That's that's giving Bert's mum. I think that's Bert's mum. They look very, very similar. So Bert's mum there, and of course Leanne there looking absolutely glowing. It's funny how great Leanne Kreischer looks in it, right? Considering how Bert looks on a daily basis. Leanne Kreischer is absolutely glowing, right? She's got a nice little tan on, she's got the tatters out. She's got the big mummy smile. Like that's the mummy smile that most guys would want for their own mums. You know what I mean? She's living well. She probably just sits down, works out, drinks wine. You know what I mean? Cleans the house and shit. Just chills. Have has a fucking good life. Walks to the beach from time to time. You know what I mean? Whereas Bert looks like he's I don't know what Bert's been doing, but you know it's all well and good. I think that's the balance of a good marriage. Maybe the guy's out there doing a whole lot of madness and she's at home holding the house down. But regardless, congratulations to Burt Kreischer, voted Comedian of the Year, courtesy of Just for Laughs. I think he deserves it. And I think it's good to celebrate these things when they happen because if anything, maybe, maybe, I've said it before on here that I think in general that stand-up comics are crap nowadays and specials aren't as good. Maybe a way to fix the industry. Maybe a way to flip in, improve the quality standards. Maybe. Think about this for a minute bring back awards or introduce awards maybe there weren't many awards before maybe there should be an award um ceremony every single year where you award somebody the most you know the best up and coming the best you know uh the best newcomer most improved like you know what i mean best special from under ages or something whatever like that'd be a pretty sick way to go about it because then maybe people would compete on the quality of the work and not just oh i got views i got this i got that that might be a pretty good way to go about it that would be actually quite cool i wouldn't mind that and imagine also maybe that way you could find out a way to kind of you know what's that thing called put a light on up and coming new comics that could be a good solution right imagine that you have this whole war ceremony thing and then it also gives you a chance to put some light on some up-and-coming comics who haven't got any attention and to kind of give them a bit of shine because if they get nominated people might be like oh who's that who's this you know what i mean and then suddenly go to them and also have a sketch comedy section as well included in it like do everything everything involving comedy like best skits best short movie best self-produced comedy movie all that stuff would be pretty sick i would like to see that actually that would be actually a really good thing to do and maybe you could have people you know hosting it every year different people similar to like the grammys and shit like that could actually be a thing in itself but you know these comedians are always looking after themselves they don't really they don't really care about the craft that much you know what i mean all they motherfuckers care about is ticket sales and youtube views so that's probably never going to happen it'll probably take an outsider or a fan or something to start it comedians aren't going to do it they would rather go on tour you know around la and shit you know and call that a fucking worldwide tour but whatever what do i know what do i know